if we go through it a little bit uh, too fast, uh, you can always check the replay and um, put it on pause and slow it down a little bit to, to make sure that you see all of the settings that we're going to go over. So, <laughs> first of all, um, why, why are we doing birthday marketing? One of the things I like about birthday marketing is that there isn't a lot of competition. And uh, one thing we always want to look for is, is do we have to educate business owners? Or is it something they already understand? Well, the nice thing about birthday marketing is every restaurant owner has thought about what they need to do for birthdays. All we really have to do is get our presentation in front of them. Um, here's a, an article from the National Restaurant Association, and they've got a lot of, of stats that you can look up. Uh, anyway, the, the one thing I found quite interesting was uh, basically a poll that was done in America uh, around Christmas, or just before Christmas. And the, the question was, um, who, who, who wants a birthday dinner or a birthday gift card or gift certificate for Christmas? And 59% uh, said they would like to receive a restaurant gift card. So we, we can understand and, and, and um, see that people like to go out for dinner on their birthday. The stats say that 7 out of 10 Americans or American adults celebrate their birthday by eating out. Free dinner is quite appealing. Now, of course, the better the restaurant, the, the higher the perceived value. Of course, going out and getting a hamburger on your birthday, um, a, a free hamburger isn't quite as appealing for most people as going out and getting a fancy steak dinner. Now, let's get started right here with finding our potential customers. Where do we find them? Where do we look? What I like to do is just do a search for free birthday dinner in and then just put your, your city name in. And here we're going to find uh, some, some sites that are going to show us who's offering the free birthday dinner. Of course, if somebody's offering a free birthday dinner already, all we have to do is step in and, and say, let us market that for you. What I like to do is, is offer my customers a one-week trial and say, look, let's see what we can do for you. Let's see if it works. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. Of course, we know it's going to work. But um, if if you if you come across as as um, uh, too overconfident that you know this always works, it's a guarantee. Owners have already heard that. What they really need is proof. As long as we can prove ourselves, we'll always get customers. And I'll tell you that in all the cities I've operated the birthday club in. Um, I have never failed to deliver. I've done a lot of lead generation for a number of different businesses and industries, and they all seem to be hit and miss except for birthday club marketing. Okay, so once I've done a search, let's take a look. The very first one that comes up is free chicken dinner on your birthday. That sounds pretty cool if you live in St. Louis. And we can tell right away because uh, here's a review by one of the customers. Free chicken dinner on your birthday. Just show up on your birthday with your ID and you get a free chicken dinner. The dinner was enough for two and very yummy. Uh, Hodex rocks. Well, that's pretty interesting. There we've got a potential customer. All we need to do is put together a presentation and get in front of this uh, owner or just a manager. Now you'll find uh, a lot of um, sites like this. Uh, what's a St. Louis mummy? Anyway, here's a whole list of restaurants that have birthday offers. Uh, the ones you want to avoid are the ones that offer a free dessert or, um, you know, just the, the free blizzard. What we're after is the ones that have real value. Uh, even Hooters, 10 free wings, that sounds pretty good. Here's a free entree. That's what we're looking for. Buy one dinner, get one free. We're not looking for that type of a presentation, although 
at, at worst case, we're getting uh, setting them up with a two for one because we're we're uh, putting in our marketing. One of the conditions is that you must bring a friend. We know on average uh, birthday tables are made up of 3.76 people. So as long as they bring one in, it's a two for one. Um, what they're going to find is a lot of tables are coming in with five or six uh, people, and and it, it's going to um, add some real value to our marketing. The more people we bring in, the 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 more valuable we're going to be to our, our client. Anyway, here we go. Free, uh, free dinner anytime during your birthday month. This one's great, Kobe Steakhouse. There's a, a lot of great ones in here. We don't want to um, present it as a two-for-one because that is very inaccurate. The more people we have, the better it's going to be. Anyway, this is where I find my customers. Start off in your own city. Find these customers, make a presentation in front of them, and get them signed up for a free one-week trial. It's not going to cost you a lot to run a trial for the customers, and the nice thing is before they ever pay a dime, you're going to know if it works, and so will your client. We know it always works, but this is our way of giving them proof. So let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to do is set up a fan page. Now, I'm not going to go through setting up a fan page because it's pretty simple. We want to try and get through this as quickly as possible, make a little bit of time with the setup and the ads. I want to try and give you everything that you need so that you can do this on your own. Um, first of all, you need a cover image. Now, of course, uh, I've got some cover images here. And I'm, I'm just going to throw a, show you how to change them. If, if you already have a fan page set up and you don't have the image, you can just hover over the area. It'll say Upload Image. If you've got one in, you're using the, an existing fan page, just come right here to Upload Photo, and then it's really easy. Two of the, the niches that we operate in are restaurants and golf courses. So just for fun, I'll just uh, throw in one of our golf uh, headers here. And to upload or change the profile image, it's just hover over and click on the, the pencil here, upload photo. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to upload one of our custom images here. Anyway, it's that simple. If you don't know how to set up a fan page, just do a Google search or go to YouTube and you'll see it takes uh, just a second. Now, I am going to leave this post in here because it's important that I just show you what the post looks like. All I've done is uploaded a picture. It's 403 by 403. Of course, we have custom images already done, um, but you can find those uh, yourself or you can make them. Uh, I put the text in that says, "Create your or celebrate your birthday at the keg and dinner's on us. Claim your free dinner. And here's uh, the link. It's very simple. That's all I ever do with my fan page. Cover image, profile, and one post. Done. Now, the link that they're going to click on is this one right here. And where is it going to take them? It's going to take them to a reservation form. We're going to set up this reservation form right now. I'm going to show you the elements. Really simple to set up. One, two, three, contact is free. Uh, it's not going to cost you a dime, and we're going to go in and we're going to set this up right now. We're going to look at this actual um, uh, setup inside 123 Contact, and then all you have to do is duplicate the uh, fields. This is all we're looking for is first name and phone number, number in the party, time of their reservation, and then they can just click here with a date. And I like to put my conditions in here. To be used on your birthday only, you must bring at least one friend, maximum value 20 bucks, no cash value, uh, valid at this city location only. What we really want to do is we want to get people to make the reservation. We don't want to offer them a gift card that we send to their inbox. We want them to take action because this is going to establish our proof as we do a demonstration for our customer. Every time a reservation form is completed, 
the, uh, we're going to receive a, a copy of that reservation, the restaurant owner, and all of the management staff so that they can call this person back and confirm the time and the date. Now let's go in and let's take a look at 123 contact and how we set this form up. Now when we go in and we set up our form, it's really easy. Click on uh, create form. Um, if we click right here in this, this shaded area once we've um, clicked on create new form, these are the forms, uh, these are the settings. One column, um, top aligned, uh, below label, form width 221, and this is by default UTF uh, 8. The form is centered and the direction is left to right. Now for each one of these fields, it's really easy to add fields. Um, this is the title and if you just click on here and you go right up to edit headline, you can make your entry right here. Every one of these <coughs> that you want to edit or add, all you do is come up here and you build this form. The first thing that I did was first name and let's take a look at how we do that. All we do is add field, text box, and it's right down here and you just click on it. And now what we're going to do is set our width. And let's just set this at, um, well, let's go and take a look at the width that we're operating here, 425. So let's just click right down here and let's set this at 425 wide. Now the label is going to be, um, let's just say that this was the very beginning, first name. Let's just throw that in. You see how it changes right down here. Now, um, I just put my settings here at normal for my uh, font, uh, for boldness or, or type styling. And you want to make this one required, so you're going to click on the required. And now the default value, um, let's just take a look here. Um, uh, we want to put this, let's see, default value is going to be, I'm just going to put this so it shows up inside the box, just so it, it looks just like this one, and then up here for the label, just get rid of that. And then this is exactly what it looks like. You can get rid of the required as well. If somebody's going to make the reservation, uh, this is what they'll do. So now we've got the first name in, and we just do the same thing. It's another text box for the phone. When it comes to drop downs, just click on Add Field, and click here on Drop Down, and then just go here and click on the field. And to give it a label, you would just put um, you put number and party. So it's going to show up there once again. Let's just go normal, and here are the choices for um, um, for the, the drop down. So number and party is what we're dealing with. So you would say the minimum that they can have is two. So I just hit enter three, enter four, enter five, enter six, enter more. Something really simple like that, and that form is ready to go. Um, now we can actually put it right in here. Um, let's see. In the instructions, we'll go just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so anyway, that's that's what it looks like for the the drop down. And your very first label, if you want to have it labeled like this, I'll show you what what you can do. Just put right here, number in party. And then it's going to show up inside the box. That makes it nice and, and clean, just like this right here. When it comes to adding a date, um, all you have to do is, uh, let me see. 
Now, you're not going to be able to use this date field because this is a paid feature. So what you want to do um, is just get them to enter their date. And that one's really simple. Just put right in here. First of all, get rid of that. Default value, just put um, date. Then all they're doing is entering the text and hitting the drop downs. So let me just go ahead and delete these so that we can take a look at the form the way I have it uh, set up here. Okay, and I just have this last one to get rid of. And that is, that's it. You can put your, your conditions in here. And that's the, the simple form. When, you, um, when you, you go through and you set this up, the reason why we went 221 is because uh, 123 contact isn't mobilized and we want to make sure that it appears correctly on mobile phones because a lot of the people on Facebook are going to be using a mobile phone. So it's pretty simple. We've set up these fields, uh, a couple drop downs, um, one where they enter their date and some basic conditions. Now we have to add the styling to this. Uh, we want to make it look just like this. So as you can see, here are the fields that we have in 123 contact with our conditions. Now we want to add the background and some color to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at themes. Now with themes, you'll just click here, create new uh, blank theme. And I'm actually going to go through and show you the settings uh, so that you can make yours look exactly like this. Um, first of all, let's take a look at all of our options. The first one we're going to look at here is background and form frame. Now right here is a local background image, and that's what you see in the background right here. Just add some nice style to it, makes it look good. And now um, you can take a look at my settings here. Form frame is on, embed form frame is off, rounded corners on, box title is on, and the box title is this area right beside and around this graphic. And I just select black. Now the actual body color. Um, I selected, um, uh, oh, next thing was headline below um, box title. Select that one. And form background color. That's this area right here. And I'm using FOFOFO. And shadows I'm leaving off, otherwise it starts to put different lines on the, on the page. These are the settings. Um, pretty simple. Watch the replay. You can set this up in minutes. The next thing that we want to look at is the uh, is buttons. And this one right here is the only one we're paying attention to. Just local image button. Just upload your, um, <laughs> your image right here. And we can see this is the submit button that shows up right here. Just upload it right there. And let's take a look and see the dimension of that button. 260 by 35 pixels. Pretty simple. Set up your submit button, click upload, and that's done. Now the next thing that you want to do is the logo, and that is the logo right up here. You click on logo. Select local image logo, hit upload, and upload your image. I've set it at 320 pixels wide. And the actual image size is uh, this one right here. Uh, oh, sorry, this one right here. Uh, 254 pixels wide by 95 pixels tall. Just drop your customer's logo in there and you're done. All you have to do then is hit save and apply and then select the form that you want to attach it to and we're working with this demo, the Keg Birthday Club. Click apply. That is all you have to do and that gives you this form right here.
Now I'm going to have to upload my images again. Um, yeah, that was my mistake. I'll go through and do that later. Let's take a look now at what happens when the submission, when the form is filled out, what's going to happen. Let's go back here to My Forms and let's go into our notifications. And let's go into the form we were working with. Let's click Edit. And let's go here to Form Settings and let's go to Notifications. Right here, we can add notification email. Number one, this is coming to me because I always want to get a copy. The next one that I'm going to add is going to be the restaurant manager. And I'm just going to click on add notification email and punch in his or her email address. Now, do I want to send out SMS notifications? Do I want to send a text message to the management staff? If I do, I will just click here on send notifications via SMS to phone number and here you can just go ahead and enter the number. If you want to do this on a trial for the customer, you want to keep your costs down, just send an email notification to all of the managers as well as the owner and one to yourself. Let's take a look at the confirmation settings. Now show text. Thanks. So as soon as the form is filled out, this is what it's going to do. Thanks for the reservation. A confirma confirmation mes message has been sent to your inbox or a staff member will be calling you shortly to confirm your reservation. It's, it's really simple. You can also select redirect to a web page or you can select show the above text and then go to the above web page. So it's going to show this text and have a little continue button that they're going to click on and take them right to your restaurant's uh, website. That can take them anywhere you like. You can keep this one as simple as, as can be. Thanks for the reservation. A staff member will call you shortly to confirm your reservation. Click Save. And you've got it complete. That is how we set up the, the system. Now, everybody's going to get their notifications. It's going to establish proof after a day or two. I see reservations are coming in. I want to make sure that the owner is seeing it. I'll give them a call and say, hey, have you been checking your email address to confirm the reservations? Now, if he's delinquent, he's going to say, no, I haven't. Well, good thing we sent it out to the management uh, staff because most of those are going to be checking their email and they're going to see that reservations have been made. So uh, it's nice to get in touch with the owner and let them know, um, hey, we've sent in six reservations in the last couple days, and it looks like we've had uh, 22 people um, set up to come in because we've got X amount at each table. Total people, people coming in are 22, and we've had six reservations. 22 people coming in. Is, is impressive, to, but to make this system work, all we really need is one reservation a day will prove our point because it's going to get them 30 reservations a month. At 30 reservations, at an average of four people, we're going to be putting in 120 people. If it's a really nice restaurant, 120 people is worth a lot of money. Let's say that the average um, the average value per, per person is going to be, say, 30 bucks if it's a decent place. And we're sending in 120 people. That's a total of $3,600 in revenue minus the 30 people that we brought in. Let's, let's redo that. We sent in 120 people. Let's take off the 30 that aren't paying. We've actually sent in 90 and times 30 bucks is $2,700 in in value. Now, $2,700 worth of business, what is that worth um, over one year? Well, you would think it's worth $32,400, but in fact, it's worth a lot more than that because the average birthday table is made up of, of people that have never been to the restaurant. In fact, on average, one-third of all people attending a birthday dinner have not uh, been to that restaurant before. 
So one thing that we're, we're doing is we're bringing in new customers. Now, if everybody was happy, we're going to bring in repeat customers. How much does that $30,000 work out to be worth? Well, if everybody comes in even one, um, one time, they're actually, like one time extra, they're actually going to be doubling their profit margin, more than doubling because the next time won't be free. It's really easy for us to show them $100,000 in revenue based on what we're doing. So let's take a quick look at, at what we have here. We're going to go and I'm going to show you how to set up the ads. Right now, we've, we've covered how to find the customer. Um, we know how to um, build a fan page and put our graphics in there with a call to action. We know how to build a reservation form that's going to prove uh, our results. The next thing we need to be able to do is to set up the ads that are going to drive people to the reservation form. Now, we've got a couple things that we can do. Let's take a look at this one. And I, just for fun, I'm just going to put this back to uh, the birthday image. We'll just let that load up. And let's get rid of this golf, golf profile image here and let's go back to our regular profile image. Now, when we set up a fan page, it's basically going to give us two ways of marketing. One is we're going to promote this post and the second one is we're going to create a brand new ad. Let's go into Facebook ads and let's do the setup here. The first one we're going to look at is page post engagement. And I'm going to walk you through both of these because this is the, the engine that powers our marketing. This is what we have to understand. Page post engagement. Here's our um, fan page. And here will be a drop down of all of our uh, ad choices. Let's select this one and let's hit continue. And we can see right here that this is what's going to show up in people's news feeds. This is a news feed ad. Actually, they're both going to be news feed ads. These are um, extremely effective, high click-through rate. Let's do the setup. Let's remove the right-hand column. Let's get rid of sponsored stories. And let's select our city. Let's select our age. Now, here's what I recommend. In each city that you're working in, you should be working with two restaurants. One that would cater to um, individuals under 30, which would be a trendy young person's restaurant. And I would also pick up another restaurant for age 30, like 31 and above. And that would be my fine dining. So let's set one up here. Um, now, th this is up to you. It's, it's set by default here at 13. Well, I'll tell you some 15-year-old kids are planning their, their own birthdays, and they don't mind going to the trendy restaurant with a bunch of their buddies. Um, believe it or not, you know, a lot of these young kids will have the money to go out and eat. So it's up to you whether you want to set a minimum age of, say, 18 to 30. You know, that's totally up to you. Um, this one here, I'm going to leave this one wide open. Uh, anyway, we, can, we could set it if we wanted to go 18 uh, to 30-year-olds. We can set it up right here, and this would cater to a trendy restaurant. Um, if we want to go for the 31 and over for the fine dining, all we're going to do is just go here and select no maximum. So now we would have two, um, two campaigns set up. We can work with two restaurants per city. And remember, you can do this in all the cities that you want. Uh, gender, I leave this open. If people are having a birthday, they're having a birthday. I normally tend to market to females only because they're more responsive and they're a lot more social. But when it comes to birthdays, there, there's really no issue with selecting both genders. Um, languages. You can enter your language right here, and you can just select English all. That's fine. 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here under more categories and we're going to be looking for events. And we're just going to click on events and has birthday within one week. And I'll just set this back to all ages. Right here we can see how many people we're going to be marketing to. In a smaller city it's going to say potential reach fewer than 900. That means it could be 910 people, it could be uh, just under 1,000, it might even be less. When you have your city here in a big city, you can expand or reduce your, your proximity, your radius right here. So this is a simple setup, just people having a birthday within the next week. Let's go right down. How much are we going to spend on this? Remember, this one here is for that post. This is what I'm setting as a budget, is just leave it at five bucks, five bucks a day. 30 days is going to be costing 150 bucks. Um, in fact, it, it might even be less than that. But $150 in cost and you mark it up 150, I would be, uh, after I've proven myself to the customer, I would be coming in at 297 bucks. To me, that would be a very fair price if I'm generating three or four thousand dollars of uh, income for the customer. Now, let's take a look here at our bidding. Now, we can bid for clicks or impressions. You can try your campaigns with both. Um, bidding for clicks is a surefire uh, method here. If we uh, manually set our bid. Let's, let's do the math. Now, they're suggesting a bid of 43 cents. Hey, perfect. But, let's say we go as high as a dollar. It doesn't mean they're going to charge us a dollar. Let's put in a dollar. What's that going to give us? Five clicks. We've got a budget of five bucks. A dollar a click. Now, it doesn't mean they'll charge us a dollar. It could come in at the 43 cents or come, could come in at 30 cents. If it did cost us a dollar, we're going to get five clicks, and these ads are now only going to be shown, and here you can see what they're suggesting, 56 cents. Put it at 56, you're going to be safe. Put it in at a buck, it's, it's not going to matter. As long as you're at the high end here, you're going to get your clicks. Okay, five clicks, five bucks. On average, it's going to take two or three clicks for every reservation that you get. If it's a well-recognized restaurant with, with high value uh, perception, people are going to make their reservations. They, they absolutely love it. People love a free dinner on their birthday. This is it. Just click on the review order and it's going to be submitted. Now, if we selected bid for impressions, you can try both of these. Remember, we only have a thousand people. It's in their news feed. So, you know, this is, is where you're going to put your amount in here per thousand impressions. That means for everyone to see this thing once is going to cost us nine cents. Well, we can put this in at five bucks if we want. That means that all thousand people in my city are going to see that uh, one time. All thousand that are having their birthday. And remember this, people having their birthday within the next week, there's always new people coming in every day and other people leaving that window of seven days. This is really simple marketing. We don't have to recreate ads. We don't have to worry about ad blindness. And that is because we always have new people coming in and leaving. So you can set this at five bucks if you like. You can set this at seven dollars if you like. The bottom line is a thousand people are going to see your ad. So for every thousand people, it's going to cost you five or seven bucks. That's a lot more cost effective than the dollar per click or 60 cents a click. This is up to you. You can try both ways and see which way works best for you. Um, bids, bid for impressions, this is most likely going to be your cheapest method. Um, this is the setup. And now we're going to take a look at the next method. And the next method is clicks to website. 
Now, the website we want them to click to is going to be our birthday club reservation form. And let's go and put that in right here. Once we've created the form, clicks to website, and here we go. We'll get rid of this image, and let's just choose to upload our image. We can put in six, or you can just put in one. That's totally up to you. Let's upload uh, an image. Let's upload our golf image. I know it's a restaurant uh, demo, but anyway, it's a 600 by 315. It goes right in there. Next thing we want to do is remove the right-hand side add. We have to attach it to a fan page, and that's one of the reasons for creating the fan page. Um, anyway, here it is right here. Now, we get to put in our headline, and this is going to be Claim your free birthday dinner. The text is going to be um, basically, it's the same text that we used in the post that I showed. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Um, you don't even have to put in, uh, you can say click on the image or click here. Um, really doesn't matter. Put in a description. Put in your conditions. Um, your headline. Let them know where it's from. And remember, it's already saying up here that it's uh, they'll recognize this this restaurant. Put your information in. Make it look um, make it look appealing. There's no real magic here. Just let them know what they're getting and what they have to do. Just click here to claim. Um, news feed description, here you're going to put in your description and you'll see right here where it's going to show up. So claim your free, let's just finish this off. Okay, let's just put in claim your free dinner, there, that worked. Now um, you can put in your description. Put in your text. Of course, you're going to see exactly where this shows up. It's right up here. Um, so we're going to see the, the headline, the text. That lets them know what it's all about. Then down below, it's going to um, have the information that we want to put here uh, through the description. This is how we set things up. We're going to get rid of show social activity. And the rest on the bottom is exactly the same, targeting people having a birthday. Set up your city, your age, your language. No different than the first time. Um, when this shows up in the news feed, it's, it's going to get a lot of clicks. We're following the 20% rule in Facebook ads. We're keeping our text block to less than 20%. Um, this method of marketing is going to be really effective. What does it cost you to get a customer? Well, if you have to pay to run the campaign for your customer, if you're going to spend maybe $3 a day and you run it for seven days, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks. How much is a customer worth? Well, if 150 goes into your pocket every month from each customer, you can figure out how much you're going to make over the next two or three years. Normally, the, the restaurants, as long as you continue to deliver the results, they're going to continue to stay with you. Now, one of the things that, that we do on a more advanced level is we use the birthday marketing to get our foot in the door. Of course, we're making our money there, but what we, what we want to do is move them up to the next level of service, which is a monthly or weekly newsletter. Uh, we want to build an email list for them. We want to grow that list to mass, uh, massive numbers. Um, and I'm just going to show you one of the things that, that we do. I'm just going to refresh a page. Here's a reservation form that is set up through AWeber. It's a fly-in form. From Facebook ads, people land here when they make their reservations. They're instantly being added to the restaurant's email list so that we can send out a full HTML graphic um, newsletter. 
Uh, restaurants love that. It's really effective for putting out weekly specials or monthly deals. And with HTML, we can do so much. Now, with um, 123 Contact, there is a method of uh, adding these individuals to, and I'll just go through that. There, there is a method here, and it's called third-party apps, and this will add them to um, a list. And let's say that you're using uh, Aweber. You would just click on Aweber, and here you would put your user ID and your token, and you would connect it to Aweber so that when people fill in your 123 contact, and I, I really like 123 contact, when they fill this form in, they're going to be added to the restaurant's email list. Now, for those of you who do not have um, graphics, and for those of you who want to take this to the next level, we do have the full training course, which is 17 bucks. Um, and that includes all of the graphics that we have. I'm just going to put the, the link in here for you. Um, let's see if I can actually find that. Yeah, I will put the link in here. It's $17. This is the full training. And this has um, the, the advanced levels, how to add them to the email list, how to develop your newsletter business, how to expand your service. This comes with all of the graphics. This comes with um, the, the golf graphics. And this also comes with the restaurant. Um, we've got all kinds of graphics. On the advanced level, we're also showing you how to add golf and dinner together. Um, we put together a great training course that shows you all the basic elements and shows you all of the advanced uh, features. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, I will put the link in the, um, in the box here. Uh, let me see, how do I put that in there? Put it in the chat box. Okay, it's in the chat now. And now, just to warn you, this content is just being moved over. If you do go ahead and buy, then you're going to be, uh, you may have to wait for a little while. Uh, the content is being transferred over tonight, but everything will be in there by the end of tonight. Uh, remember, you can set this all up on your own. If you have questions, you can get in touch with me on Skype. SpeedyKen1, that's numeric one. I'll just put that in the chat here as well. You can also send, uh, send me an email to support at deeperpockets.net. And I'll put that in the chat as well. Uh, once again, you don't have to do this. Um, the, the very basic level of just driving Facebook ads, Facebook traffic uh, directly to a reservation form is the base model. You can do that, no issue. You're going to make money. It's easy to set up, and you've got very little competition. And if you can prove yourself, the restaurants and golf courses will love you for what you do. If you want to take this to the next level and you want to see what we're doing on um, at the advanced level, it's 17 bucks, and these are brand new fresh graphics. All of our graphics are made by Marvin Peters, former senior designer with Disney. He does a fantastic job on creating graphics for us. So you're going to get all of the graphics and all of the training, everything that you need in much greater detail and broken down into a number of videos that cover specific topics. So. Um, we've been 45 minutes. I apologize. I didn't think it was going to go that long. Um, if you have questions, I'd be happy to take your questions right now. And once again, you can always get in touch with me on Skype or send me an email. That would, that would be fine. Uh, but if you have a question, let's uh, take them right now. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions. I'm not sure if that was because I was so crystal clear or if nobody's just wanting to ask a question, but um, I will leave the, the questions open for another minute. Oh, actually, hang on. I think that we have a question. Let me just 
get this so that I can see these questions. Do you set up separate fan pages for each restaurant or run it under one? Um, I'm setting, um, on the basic level, you want to set up an individual fan page for each one of your customers. You want to have the ad very specific to your customer. You want to make sure it's their logo, their name, that it's easily identified. And at the higher level, we want to build one fan page that covers everything. Um, ultimately, we want to move our customers into our citywide birthday club, <coughs> which allows them to uh, go out for a free lunch, maybe get themselves a, a free massage, free tanning, free pass to the gym, maybe a free car wash uh, around the golf in the afternoon, free steak dinner and maybe a movie after, and they can select all the items they want. When you actually move into that level and you start to grow a massive um, email list citywide, it opens all kinds of doors for, um, for other marketing for you. So initially, at the basic level, you know, in what I've shown you, set up a fan page for each customer. And when you get to the advanced level, if you ever buy into that or, or whatever, um, then you'll want to set up just one fan page and really take, kick this thing into high gear. Okay. Any, any other questions? Can my partner and I use this software together? Um, it's not software. It's, 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 uh, it's the training and the images. If I, I would imagine if you gave your password for your partner to go into the members area, it's only going to allow one person in at a time. But if you go in and you get the training, um, you can download all of these graphics and you can edit these things. Um, they're all coming out in PSD and XCF for GIMP, which is free, so you can edit all of the images yourself. You can make yourself look like a million bucks, and I guess you could have a friend come in and uh, help you out with the cost. Although at $17, I mean, that doesn't even cover the cost of, of uh, even one graphic. Okay, any other questions? The graphics look great, yes. Uh, designed by our, our Disney graphic artist. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, our graphics are the strong point of our marketing. You cannot make a, a great impression on your customer unless you have great graphics. When I make a presentation that's custom to that, uh, to my client, when I go in and show them what I have, they're normally blown away. Golf courses and restaurants love this kind of marketing. A free trial, nothing to lose. Uh, you're going to get yourself some easy customers. Do you have background images for landing pages to match? Yes, we do. Um, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you everything that we have. And uh, things are actually being uh, developed as we speak, literally. Uh, let's take a look at um, background images. We have background images. We have them for golfing and we have them for the restaurant. So yes, everything is covered. Great looking graphics. Any other questions? Any, any technical questions? No technical questions so far. Hopefully in the replay you can go back if you don't buy into um, into our training program and, and you want to do it on your own, hopefully you can just go back, watch the replay, and like I said, just, just see what, what I'm doing and, and pause the video and, and complete that step and you should have no problem and you can always get in touch with me on Skype or send me an email. Okay, any other questions before we wrap things up? Is this material available to Deeper Pockets members? Uh, it is being added to Deeper Pockets. Yes, it is. Everything uh, that we do outside of Deeper Pockets is, in fact, being added to our membership area. Uh, so if you are a member, you can look for it to be put in there as soon as it is available. Should be uh, very quickly. Okay, any other questions? The only thing um, 
Yeah, the, the basic and the advanced are included in the members area. How does one become a member of Deeper Pockets? Uh, you can join Deeper Pockets. Just go to uh, deeperpockets.net and I will show you what that looks like. Just come right here to deeperpockets.net and take a look at what we have and the type of graphics we produce. One new graphic every single day. Uh, all kinds of business models and training in there. Um, we specialize or we focus on the practical application of graphics so that you don't just get graphics, you get the training that goes with them so you can make money. We're showing you business models and attaching the graphics to it. So we're making you look good and hopefully we're making you some money at the same time. We're not providing graphics like little buttons and arrows. We're actually putting together graphics that that uh, have a practical application. So anyway, you just scroll to the bottom and this is where you hit the subscribe button. All kinds of stuff in there. Okay, any other questions? We've got about three minutes left. We're going to try and keep this at 55 minutes. It'll make the uh, recording available uh, quite a bit quicker. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Hopefully you, um, you got something out of the webinar tonight and uh, Hopefully it's going to make you some money. If you apply it, it will make money. This is a proven business model. I'm actually going to be putting together some case studies, actual video testimonials and actual stats for specific campaigns that I'm running so you can see them from start to finish and see exactly how many reservations and the dollar value produced and even a video or a written testimonial from the restaurant so, or golf courses and you know, hopefully that's going to encourage you a little bit. Any other questions? We've got about one minute. Anybody have a question on the awesome birthday marketing? Following this will change the way you market forever. Keep it simple and make it effective. Okay, I'm not seeing any more questions. We're going to wrap up now. I want to thank everyone for being here. I uh, hope you have a great evening and I hope that you take advantage of the uh, upgrade. Anyway, thanks for being here. Take care. Bye, everyone.